Okay, so we've got some questions here involving powers and roots. So we've got to realise what 2 to the little 4 means. Well, it's 2 to the power of 4. So 2 to the power of 4. That's how we'd say it. And what it means is 2 to the power of 4 means we're doing 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And when we do that in our heads, we end up with 16. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 again 16. So that would be the correct answer for that one. Um, circle the value of 5 to the power of 3. So this is said as 5 to the power of 3. Or 5 cubed is another way of thinking of that. And what that means is we're doing 5 times 5 times 5, which is going to be 125. Okay. Um, this question then has this symbol, and what we've got to realise is that this symbol means the square root. And the simplest way of remembering what the square root means is to think of a simple example. The square root of 4 is 2 because 2 times 2 equals 4. So we're looking for a number that multiplies by itself to give us 196. Well, you guys are expected to know all your square numbers up to 225. So if you haven't practised them, you need to learn them. And what we should recognise is the square numbers go 1, 4, 9, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, 225. So this is 14 squared. So when it says circle value of the square root of 196, then it's going to be 14. 14 times 14 gives you 996. Okay, so a reminder about powers, cube numbers, square numbers, square roots. Make sure you're practicing, guys, because these will come up in your exams in some way. Uh, the next part of this question goes on and says, for question 13, solve this equation. Um, solve means find the value of x. That makes this true. There are lots of ways of trying to do this. You could cover that up and say, well, what do I take 5 away from to give me 17? Um, so we could say, well, that's got to be 22. Because 22 take away 5 is 17. So 4x is, is worth 22. So a single x, because this is about a 4 times table, we're going to have to divide by 4. Um, so 22 divided by 4 is 5 and a half. Um, other ways of doing this is to do the inverse operations until you're left with x on its own. In other words, you made x the subjects of the equation. So we could add 5 to both sides, so 4x is a worth 22, and then we could divide by 4, because that's the opposite of times, and because the number next to a letter means timesing. Um, and we do 4 divided by 4, we get 1, so that's 1x, and we do 22 divided by 4, we get 5 and a half again. So we're pretty convinced the answer is going to be 5 and a half. But of course, when you do any questions involving solving, then we should check that it works. So 4 times 5.5, because if the value of x is true, then 4 times its value, take away 5, well, we need to work that out, so 4 times 5.5 is 22, 22 take away 5 is 17, so the check worked, the value of x that we found does make this equation true. Left hand side equals right hand side, that's what the equal sign is telling you, that side's got the same value as that side when x is 5.5. Okay, so a reminder about solving equations, guys. Practice, there will be solving equations in your exams.